President Biden, is he just confused? Confused on reading the script? He blames the inflation on Iraq. Now listen, everybody. We all get our words twisted. We're humans, right? But this president, he is the president of the United States, and this not this has happened not just once, twice, three, many, many times. I'm concerned. I think his wife is concerned. Um, was it Dr. Jill and other people in his administration concerned? I'm very concerned. Um, it's Iraq's fault. First of all, I know what he meant. We all know what he meant. It's um, Ukraine's fault. But again, leave in the comments below. Is this is why we're here? Also, in this video, six days left. Six days left for midterms. Are you getting tired of all these ads in the mail and these commercials? <clears throat> and props out, high five, fist bump to all the mailmen and women out there that are working 14, 16 hours. Yes, they're getting paid. Um, they didn't tell me to do this, but high five. It's a lot of work on these ads and these paper. Anyhow, also, um, what would you do with the $1.2 billion Powerball? And um, are you in it to win? Um, also, this is important before I go any farther. Market value is it correct on your house as Reno, Nevada is down 14%. As next year, your taxes will go down, but you need to bring it up to their attention. So stay with me on this. Yes, you can make some money on this channel. Hello, everybody. I'm Sal Capano. Um, if you like this information, <clears throat> I try to do these videos very quick. Um, perhaps on subscribe and share this video as we get more subscribers. I get 75 likes in this video. I will be giving out the coffee that is behind me. Why don't I have the coffee ready for the video? Here it is. Free coffee. That's all I'm going to get for 75 likes. Also, a $25 Target gift card. Card. See, I can't get my words out, but I'm just a YouTube channel. I mean, this is the coffee here. Oh, man, that's so good. So I want to give that out. So let's, uh, let's share the video. And also, too, more than that, I know we all want to win. I'll give you the correct information. Okay, Biden says inflation... Is caused by the war uh, in Iraq, although he uh, misspoke in Ukraine. So should we give him another pass on that? Let me know. Uh, it's a global inflation. Um, and um, but we have a 30, we have some problems here. If you're a couple, a young couple, any couple, a 30 year fixed mortgage, just a year ago, your mortgage payment probably been around the area of maybe of a $400,000 house, just for an example, your mortgage payment would probably be about maybe $1,500. It's now going to be as the Fed's raising the interest rates again now, um, 0 0.75 is going to be probably closer in the area of $3,000. Um, it's just sad on how our economy got where it's at. Um, I, I, I don't know what else I can say. I do know better days are coming. Um, but Biden's confused. I know, I know he's reading the script, but that's even making it worse. It's an easy thing. You have a script. It's something on the wall. They make it larger. I know what President Bush, um, he had trouble reading the script as well. But they make it big, and it's, you know, but this is too many times now. Um, and, uh, and first of all, I, I personally don't think it has to do a whole lot in the war. Um, a lot of it was to print out the money. You know, and that was in the Trump administration, too. But again, if you're new to my channel, President Biden came into office and he's had plenty of time now to turn this country in the right direction. And a lot of it was caused by gas and food. And, um, you know, I continue to say, watch my video yesterday. It's such this is good stuff to listen to um, is you know, heat your house as it's going to get cold. It's going to be like it's going to cost almost three times, maybe even four times more. This, these, these are you see it. I don't have to tell you. We see it in the supermarket. We see it at the gas pump. Yes, it's going down a little bit. I'm concerned about him being um, confused. Now, let's talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get a sip of this coffee now. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to talk about this taxes on your property taxes. Yes, you heard it right. They can go down. I read an article, homeowners savings on property tax. Um, the whole market, see, it's, it's about the market value. Is the market value correct? Are you with me? Is it correct? Well, since the housing market is where it's at right now and where you bought your house at, the tax bill is probably not correct. You can probably save. Uh, and you won't get it until next year, but you need to go ahead and call your mortgage company if you have a mortgage and, and your tax accessory and ask them, is this correct going into next year? Again, I uh, read a report that Reno is minus 14%. So, you know, you could be a savings of a couple hundred dollars in your mortgage payment. I'm just here to try to help you. That's why you've you, uh, I was going to say finance this channel. That's why you subscribe to this channel. Again, uh, a 3% mortgage, you were paying about 1686 
for a 30 year fix. Now you're paying close to 2,960. Wow. Mortgage rates at 7.22. It's out of control. Again, a lot of this, uh, you know, if you're new to my channel, well, this guy is, is he's, he's, he's the red or he's the, no, I'm down the middle. I've got all over Donald Trump. Um, I, I'm, it, it's, it's not about and getting on Biden. It, it, these are facts. It's like, it's, it's about us. You know, yes, we had a pandemic, right? And let me know how you feel. Yes, we're coming from the pandemic, but what help did we get through this administration other than the $1,400 stimulus check? Uh, and, and the uh, child, um, the, uh, excuse me, the child tax credit and then uh, the school $10,000 forgiveness is still held up in court. But really, what help did he really do? You know, well, he did extend the PUA program, unemployment program for a little bit. It was, uh, you know, he did that. But, you know, a lot of things that he could have did to prevent how high we are in this inflation i still think um i'm not against electric vehicles going forward down the road i think most people uh would agree right but right now we got to fix the problem get the oil done here and get this gas prices even down lower again i hear people say oh it's going down it's, it's still up it should be down i read an article it should be around 280 uh, two dollars and eighty cents a gallon um it's food, it's fuel, it's everything else. But midterms are six days away and by President Biden is confused. You know, can he continue on at this uh, where he's stuttering, he's confused. He just has gotten old very quickly. I don't know about the Alzheimer's. I'll leave that up to you guys. But I do know, um, yes, this YouTube guy's being very hard on President Biden. Yes, he must he misspoke about Iraq and his son and this. But this too many times he have done this, too many falls. I'm not here to say one way or another, bring back Trump. No, that's not what this video is about, and that's what I'm not about. I'm about the right person, the right fit, and the right economy when you go in to vote um, who you're voting for. And you know the independents make up the midterms as well as the president. Also, um, when you go in to vote, make sure you see what side you're on. It'll tell you whether you're a registered Democrat or you're a registered Republican or you're an independent. Now, the Independent is a big deal because if you if they have you down as an independent in the computer, you can see that without anybody else seeing it. You and the person stay with me. You you cannot vote in the primary, so it's very important that you uh, change it one way or another. You can be a Democrat and still vote Republican. It's just a letter, right? You can be Republican, vice versa, and vote Democrat. But um, just make sure that's correct, and you can simply do that online. Hey, everybody! I'm wishing everybody a well, a great, fantastic Hump Day Wednesday. Um, whew. Another busy day. A lot of you say, well, all you do is work. Yes, I continue to work. I'm also working on really consider on uh, in the future running, get involved heavily, heavily in politics um, in the uh, governor race next time around. Joe Lombardi right now is neck to neck with Steve Sislak. And just to try to straighten Nevada out, I really mean I wanted to do it last time around, but I just wasn't quite prepared right after the pandemic. I just got to get some people, supporters online with me and big hitters and casinos and stuff like that. So um, I'm busy with that. I'm busy with my personal training. Um, and of uh, course, the Philadelphia Phillies, props to them to um, advance one more game and two games away to get into or win the World Series. And my Eagles undefeated. I love sports. I love you guys. Um, have a great day. Let me know what you think about Biden being confused or mentioning the wrong words. Or maybe I'm just seeing it overreacted and let me know. And by the way, you, you can let me know if I'm overreacting. I don't get upset. You're entitled to your own opinion. Listen, say hello to somebody when you're walking by. A simple hello can make somebody's day. Trust me on that. Tomorrow's another day. There's always solution on this channel. Stay with me for other future videos. And please like the video, share the video, and we can get more subscribers and get bigger, 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 bigger prizes away. Thank you. Ciao.